Hey everyone, um, we've been talking this morning in the wardrobe group about how to automate changing your mesh body feet from one shape to the other using CTS wardrobe. And rather than type it all out, I thought I would make a quick video to walk everyone through the process um, that I think I'm going to use. It's actually just something I was working on this morning and people were interested, so this should work. I think this is how I'm going to do it. Um, Please forgive my voice. I have been sick. I am still sick. Uh, so probably a little scratchy. We'll probably have to clear my throat a few times, uh, but we'll get through it. <clears throat> All right, to get started, what we need to do in inventory somewhere, I put mine in my fast access toolkit, but really just any folder inside of RLV will work. You need to create three subfolders, one for each of the three feet sizes, mid, high, and flat. Uh, give them unique names, just like everything else in wardrobe, and then put a copy of, in this case, the Maitreya Lara feet, one in each of those folders. This really should work for anybody, um, but I'm just demonstrating on Lara. Uh, I also put the tiptoe shape in with my high feet, but I did not put any foot shape in with the other two. <clears throat> Uh, and this is really all you need to do on the inventory side. Make the copy, um, go into your uh, Lara HUD and make sure that you properly size each one of these feet. Now you can remove the scripts from them. Uh, I'm choosing not to because when you remove the scripts you can't or hide the feet, you can't change the skin on the feet, you can't change the nail polish on the feet. So I think I'm going to go ahead and leave the scripts on and just make sure in my mind I don't accidentally change the feet with the HUD um, and just use this new method instead. Anyway, so that's all we need to do on the inventory side. Let's switch over to wardrobe quick and look at how it's set up there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create entries in wardrobe uh, for each of the three foot sizes that you just created folders for. And I'm actually going to create a fourth one for no feet, even though there's no folder in inventory to match for it. But this is just a way to remove the feet. Sometimes with boots, uh, you really just don't need the feet on at all, right? Um, because, uh, you know, they're completely hidden and you might as well get rid of those scripts if you can. <clears throat> and sometimes they poke through as well. So each one of these again matches the name of the folder I gave it in inventory and I just go into Photoshop and I just create these little images for when I have something that's not really an outfit um, so that I have a picture to use with it but of course you could just take a picture of the feed or use whatever you wanted. For each one of these though um, you need to set it up a particular way. So if you edit one of your entries and you go to your dressing tab, there's two things we want to remove with each one, at least for Matreya Lara. Uh, and the first is the clothing layer for shoes, and this will get rid of any shoe base that you have on already. So if you have one on from a previous outfit, or if you're switching from high feet to flat feet, it'll get rid of the tiptoe shape. Either way, you want to get rid of that existing shoe base. And then under attachments, for at least for Matreya Lara, you want to get rid of right foot because that's where the feet attach to. And of course you can change the attachment point to whatever you want it to be uh, and you can just check um, what attachment point the feet that you use get attached to. But the idea here is that we want to remove um, the shoe clothing layer, which is the shoe base, and then the right foot or whatever attachment point the feet are attached to. So this is going to remove the existing feet and remove the existing shoe base. Okay. So at its most basic right now, if I switch back here to inventory, I have on high feet. And if I go back over here and I want to switch to flat feet, I can just wear these. And it will switch to flat feet. And you see it pushes me down so it removed that shoe base. And if I want to switch back to high feet, I can just click my wear icon and it'll be back on there. It happens fast enough that I can't even get over there in time um, to fix it, So, or before it gets changed. And the high feet don't work very well with these pants. Anyway, um, so, so there's that. Now, how do we then make this work with shoes so that it automatically switches? So I think the best way to do this is to go ahead and add your high, mid, and flat feet uh, and probably the no feet as well if you want to, uh, to the base outfits bar. And you do that by just activate editing, 
and uh, let me go ahead and remove this no feet one quick. And you just once it's at, once act, uh, editing is activated, you just pick this up and drag it up there. When it turns yellow, you can let go, and then click deactivate editing. So now these are up there and they're available. So I have a pair of heels which use high feet, and a pair of flats here which uh, sneakers here which use flat feet, and with each one of these, what I want to do in order to get them to automatically switch the feet is basically edit them and go all the way down here to the bottom and tell it to put on a base outfit and choose the right feet that you want to wear. Now, you could actually do this by choosing put on more outfits. The downside of that is, is when you take these shoes off, it's going to take the feet off as well. And so you'll be left uh, footless, um, which may or may not be a big deal, but, um, to me, I thought it was better to put it as a base outfit because then the feet don't come off. Uh, but you could do it either way. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to put in Lara flat. And in this case here, I'm going to go ahead and put in Lara high. All right, so let's see what happens. So right now we have on our high feet. So let's go ahead and switch back over here and let's go ahead and put on the flat. So I'm just going to click where. You'll notice that I've got the Matreya feet and the HUD set to wear automatically from the subfolder line. So I can click on this. And so I should get flat feet. And hopefully, maybe, maybe, there we go. I do have um, the delay for dressing on mine boost up a little higher probably than most people do, just to slow things down a little bit. So it takes a second more, but it helps in laggy areas. Anyway, so now I have on flat feet, I have my HUD, and I have my shoes. So if I go back into Wardroom and I click on Remove, it's going to take my shoes off, but my flat feet will stay on. Now let's do one more thing quick, and let's go ahead and wear these heels. So it's going to change my feet to high, puts on my shoe base so that my feet are not buried on the ground. <coughs> and then, oh, there's my dinosaur. These were super cute from D-Lab at 50 Linden Friday. And there we go. So now it's got my heels on. Again, they don't work very well with these pants, but that's really not the point of this demonstration. So there's those are. And again, I can remove the shoes and be just left with the feet. Um, so there's that. Uh, th that. That's really all it is. <laughs> um, those three folders set up, one with each different size shoe, and then you can go into your existing shoes and use that base outfit to change the foot size to what you want them to be. And uh, that's all there is. A way to automate changing foot size with wardrobe for the Matreya Lara body in Second Life. If you have questions about it, of course, just uh, hit me up in group chat or send me an instant message and I can walk you through anything that uh, might still be confusing. Otherwise, that is the process and I hope it's helpful. Thanks everyone. Bye.